Hello, hello, hello. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was practicing my uh, <clears throat> singing. Uh, it's working on it. I, I, I'm actually working. How's it going? <laughs> this is Sean007986. Hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Oh, God. Oh, God, man. Can this bitch shut the fuck up? Who am I talking about? You already know who it is. The pink haired. The pink haired. Puta herself, Mega Ranapo. Yes, yes, you know, the loud mouth, uber ass feminist who decided to make herself be fucking known. You know, the one who was bitching about equal pay, who's also now bitching about wanting to see transgender men compete in women's soccer, which is pretty much, which is 100% a really fucking bad idea that's just coming from me. Oh, wait, not coming from me, but also coming from everyone who got common fucking sense. Who's... Well, as we know, she is going to be retiring after this year. Yes, yeah, she's going to be going away. Well, going away for the soccer world, which probably means that she's going to leave it in a much, a much terrible spot once she can get transgenders in there. But you know, she don't care. She got what she needs. Fuck the, uh, fuck those other women, right? <laughs> but knowing her, she's going to be acting like a full-time uh, activist, just like goddamn Colin Kaepernick. We all know how, and we all know how much we hate that guy. Well, to kickstart her being a goddamn activist for pushing for trans, trans, transgender after athletes to compete against women in in women's sports and only soccer, she decided to go after a one one person that she knows she ain't gonna fucking win. That's right, I'm talking about the goat comedian himself, Dave Chappelle. Yes. Oh God, I can't believe this. He's going after him because of the comedy he made in the closer. It was a good comedy session for Netflix, which all where he also talks about his late friend Daphne, who was a transgender, who was bullied by her own fucking by other transgender when she defended Dave Chappelle to the point where she would she killed herself. I mean, Minecraft herself. How about that? How about that? But you know, but they don't want to talk. Bring that up because you know that calls out their bullshit. Well, for whatever dumbass reason, Mega Rapino has managed to come out and try to go after Dave Chappelle. And what she was saying is the most dumbest shit imaginable. I'm reading this from out kick. Let's see what this bitch is saying. Mega Rapino comes on hands, brings Dave Chappelle and comedy for violence against trans people. You fucking serious? Violence against trans people? Well, there is some violence, but uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to bring up what what happened, um, and also happened, but uh, you know, I mean, do she not know? Did she forget what happened in March with the whole Nashville shooting, where three people were, well, not three people, six people were murdered, was murdered. Three, three men, three adults. Three kids. Or how about the? Or how about the? Um. How about the? Um. The mass. The shooting that went down in Phila in Philadelphia. Yeah, and that was by a trans person. But uh, oh, we can't say that because you know that that either. Or how about the fact that Dave Belt was also attacked by a motherfucker who was a who was a member of the LGBTQ community. Who, who was who was a member of the alphabet community. Yeah, I think, I don't know what she was on, but I think it was stupid. But I'm reading this. Also, shout out to Dave Hookstead. Hookstead, this is out of here. This is so goddamn stupid. But, Megan Rapino at least a truly unhinged take our comedy, Dave Chappelle and Say Seal. I don't even know why she brought Say Steel into this bullshit. Being irresponsible for the problems transgender people might encounter. Ranapo will soon retire from soccer. That will allow her to spend more time being a political activist, which seems to be her top priority in life. Now that she's on her way out the door, 
Brett Rapino has decided to endorse men coming in and destroying women's sports because of course he does. Of fucking course he does. Absolutely. You're taking a real woman's place. That's that's the part of the argument that's still extremely transphobic. I see trans women as real women. Not that to that one. I, I would say something, but uh Oh Lord, Lord, give Lord, Lord, no. That's bait. That's fucking bait. What you are saying automatically in the argument, you're sort of telling on yourself already, is you don't believe these people are women. Therefore, they're taking the other spot. I don't feel that way, Rapino told Time when asked if she'd be okay with a biological man playing with her on a national team. Meg Rapino said Dave Spell is responsible for trans issues. Bullshit. Well, that was an absolutely insane thing to say. I mean, it is kind of fucking insane. She didn't stop there. Of course he didn't. I'm of course he didn't. Of course he didn't stop there. Because if they, if he did, the article would have ended there. Mick Rapino, who has never passed up the chance to play to be a victim, yes, because being a fucking political, being a fucking professional victim pays a lot of fucking money nowadays. Thinks Dave Chappelle cracking jokes, the goat. Stays still standing up for women, fucking legend. And tennis of him, Martina Nav Navratilova. Being against men dominating women, women, which is smart, leads to problems for the trans community. What? I don't want to mince words about it. Dates about making jokes about trans people directly leads to violence, whether it's verbal or otherwise against trans people. No, it ain't. When Martina says or whoever are talking about this, people aren't hearing it just in the context of elite sports. They're saying, the rest of my life, this is how I'm going to treat trans people. Rapino told Time when talking about Dave Chappelle, Cecil, and tennis at the Martina Nara Televova. Yes, you can read that quote. Yes, you read that quote correctly. Dave Chappelle is the reason trans people have issues. If it wasn't for Dave Chappelle's cracking jokes, It'd be sunshines and rain, uh, sunshines and roses. If it worked for Sage one of the nicest people in all of media, supporting women's rights to play sports, trans people would live their perfect lives. You found yourself in good company if you find yourself grouped with, in with Dave Chappelle, Sage Seals, and Martina Nar Naratavola. You must be doing something right. Protect company at all costs. That's my goal. The reality is, is the situation is shockingly simple. Comedy must be protected at all costs. Nothing is off limits when it comes to humor. I mean, yeah, man. We should. Dave Chappelle is one of the most iconic com comedians of all fucking time. He is the GOAT. And he, and he goes after everyone. No one is safe. That's the, that's the point of comedy. And this is the painful thing that... People like Mega Rapino fail to realize comedians have to take shots from people who just don't get the joke. And I learned that lesson from the Joker from Batman the Animated Series. Um, the episode that he actually said that line was in Mad Love. And that was good. At the very least, at the very least, the attempt to be funny should always be protected. Whether it's dark humor, <laughs> childish humor, <laughs> or something else, bleh, humor must be protected at all costs. I know some. I know people who watch their friends die in war or have some of the most grisly, darkest jokes about killing and death. You ever heard in your life? <laughs> oh, always. Dark humor is always my favorite. I love it when when dark humor happens in October. Ooh, just hearing, just hearing them, hearing them bleak brings a tear to my eyes, and a and a and a deathly chill up my spine. What? I, what? I was born in October. Horror is kind of my thing. That's not a bad thing. No, it wasn't. It's actually a good thing. Yeah. Laughter is the best medicine. Great comedy and attempt to be funny is the pillar of a free society. In fucking deed. Meg Rapino hates that. Because of course she does. She hates the fact that trans community and other groups she likes are, aren't above being 
are being joked about. Newsflash, no group is above being joked about. Not a single one. Yeah, here's the thing that Meg Rapino and uh, trans activists fail to realize. If you want a certain group of people want to be treated like everybody else, part of that, part of that means that they have to be the butt of all jokes. Many people don't get that. We can't let it happen. A free society can't even censor humor or opinions. As Patrice O'Neill, God rest his soul, Favorite said on Fox, the attempt to be funny must always be there. Why didn't Mega Rapino provide specifics? Oh. <sighs> Wonder why she didn't provide. Oh, right. Because people like her never does. All she does is, like, you, you know, say some random shit. And when you try to say, okay, do you have. When you ask for approval, it's like, no, just trust me, bro. Or else you're a bigot. Furthermore, if you're going to accuse Dave Chappelle's comedy. Which is Hall of Fame humor, church, or call of causing violence against trans people? You better have some airtight examples, have some airtight uh, evidence. Let's not let's not mince words here. Meg Rapino is straight up accusing Dave Chappelle of causing violence against trans people. What violence? Who has Dave Chappelle gotten killed? What jokes specifically resulted in a violent attack against a trans person? Let's be specific. The reason Megan Rapino can't be specific is because there are no examples. Daisy Bell is a comedian, Say Sue is a TV host, and Martina Nar Tovola is a retired, super, retired star tennis player. Legend. None of them are responsible for any actions other than their own. That's how responsibility works. Apparently, Megan Rapino believes words carry more meaning than actions. That's a classic tactic for people who want to silence those they don't like. Meg Rapino can try to pin everything on Dave Chappelle, Say Still, or anyone else who supports women's sports and comedy. However, that doesn't make it true. No, it doesn't. And honestly, she seems to be ashamed of herself on that one. Because it's like, she wants to get... And besides, what's wrong with comedy? I mean, I love comedy and everything. But it's like, you can't make... But it's like, now it's like, you can't joke anyone because anyone can hurt their fucking feelings and all that other bullshit. Win, win, win. Oh, give me a fucking break, man. Give me a fucking break. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. And y'all can agree when I say this. If that's the case, if you're going to try to tell comedians that they can't make jokes because you don't want to, because said marginalized group, which I hate that word for the life of me, be offended, then... All you left-winging motherfucking comedians need to stop making fun of conservatives, Republicans, Fox News, white people, black conservatives, anyone who you do who you don't like because they don't vote fucking don't vote fucking left. All right? Because you can't tell me, because you can't have people can't make normal comedy while y'all motherfuckers be making fun, making fun of people on the right you don't fucking like. Because that ain't right. That's not how society works. That's not how any fucking society works. But to you idiots, you don't fucking care about that. All you care about is like, Ooh, I don't want my feelings hurt. I don't want my feelings hurt. I don't want my feelings hurt. Fuck you and your fucking feelings. I'm so sick and tired of people like you. Especially you, Rag Rag and Rapino. All you fucking care about is your self. All you fucking care about is your fucking self. You don't give a damn about anyone but yourself. And now you're going to be retiring. You're going to fucking retire. And you're going to leave the women's sports, and you're going to leave women's soccer in a bad shape that it already is. Because now you're going to be pushing for transgender, for trans athletes to come in and fucking dominate. Stealing money from them. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's right. It won't affect you. You got what you want, so you're already safe. Them bitches? Fuck them, right? It's all about you. It's always about you. I respect Riley Gaines more than you.
and Hope Solo. I respect them. And Mia Hamm. You nothing but... You don't care about no one but yourself. But you'll make sure you and Sue Bird will be well taken care of. People, you know, like, I, I hate to... People like you make me sick. Gonna blame Dave Chappelle and comedy ooh, for violence against trans people. And yet you don't offer any fucking examples. But knowing the media, they're gonna roll with that story. Why? Because you have to make it all about you. And of course you're gonna be doing be getting no and of course they're gonna make sure you get, get talked about. After all after fucking all, you're you're a lesbian. <laughs> you're a lesbian, you're a woman. So, you know, you gotta play that victim card somehow, you gotta make it all about you. Just like fucking Britney Griner and Natasha Clown. And then, and y'all and you wonder why no one and you wonder why everybody fucking hates you. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <sighs> Jokes. You know what? I'm not even gonna be mad about this game. I'm not. I just gotta put this out here, just thinking that she is a bitter ass bitch who will know. Who will never be happy in her fucking life. All that money, all that praise, all these bullshit awards she'll get. It will not make her happy. It will never make her happy. She wants to be miserable like everyone. Like the old saying goes. Misery loves company, I guess. But you know what? Joke's on joke's on her, joke's on them. By the time she by the time she uh smiling by the time she's smiling and what and managed to get everything she wanted with one is she gonna be looking real dumb, but you know, I don't know, I don't know. But I just wish people like her would just shut the fuck up and do their job. But you know, nowadays it's like, oh, you can't say that because you know that'd be offensive nowadays. You know, fuck being offensive. Fuck your feelings, man. Nobody gives a fuck about your feelings. You don't give a fuck about anybody else's feelings, but we gotta give a fuck about yours. Fuck that. But that's just my two cents on this. Um, but, uh, yeah. Fuck you for trying to go after uh, Dave Chappelle, Cecil, and Maria Ter Terranova because they want to, because, especially those two lovely ladies, because they wanted to try to protect women's sports while you're dumb at, oh, and Riley Gaines. They, all three of those women wanted to protect, um, protect um, women's sports while your bitch ass is trying to destroy it. And also, fuck you, you racist bitch. Yeah, what, that's what I need. For being, for trying to tell things about a black comedian to shut up and stop making jokes. Fucking racist. But, I want to know what you think on this. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so don't miss out an update, share for friends, share for neighbors, share for others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Sean 7986 signing out. Thank you for watching this video, it really means a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Peace. But, in all honesty, fuck Megan Rapino. Fuck her.